Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new show here at MMO Bomb. It's something we're calling High Low, the MMO Bomb Game Show. It's a chance for two of our panelists here to show off their knowledge of free to play gaming and a chance for the rest of us to laugh at them when they're totally off base with their guesses. <laughs> oh, My name is Jason Winter and I'll be your host for today. Before we get into the rules, let's introduce our contestants. Uh, first of all, filming from a secret bunker somewhere in Argentina is Mike Byrne, a.k.a. Magic Man. How are you doing today, Mike? I'm very nervous. Like, I know the premise of the show. And here, let me, my phone here, I'll put that in the back of the screen shot so that you can see my phone is away. And trust me, my hands are only moving for applause cues and cameras. So I okay. hope I don't make too much of an ass of myself today. Well, we do, we do have an agreement from the host. They've signed an agreement that says they will not use the internet to look things up. Uh, if they break that, they are sentenced to 50 hours a week of playing Scarlet Blade. So. Oh, jeez. So there we go. It's kind of impossible to do now, though, isn't it? Well, that, that's what makes it even harder. Yeah. Uh, and our other, our other player uh, taking a break from his wildly successful classical piano concert world tour, Mr. Zach Sharps. How are you doing today, Zach? Uh, I'm doing great. My fingers are a bit iffy because, you know, the piano tour. But, you know, it's, it's all right. Here's the phone. Okay. And, Put that uh, away. All right. all right. Very good. It's, no it's cheaters. Out of the shot. Otherwise, right. you have to play Scarlet Blade. We're ready. Yeah, that, that would be a nightmare. So <laughs> Yeah, it would pretty much. Anyway, here's how we play the game. I've got five questions here, all related to free-to-play gaming and all with a numerical answer. Each round, I'll pose a question to one of the players who will have to give an answer they think is correct. Then their opponent will try to guess whether they think the real answer is higher or lower than the answer the first person gave. I'll reveal the answer, and if the second person is correct about it being higher or lower, they score the point. If not, their opponent scores the point. And the first player to three points wins. But we'll just keep going through all five questions just for the entertainment value. <laughs> <laughs> just so we can laugh at them even more when they no, score. No bonus points if we hit it dead on, huh? No, no. You do win, but we'll also keep going to the other person. Let gotcha. him try to embarrass himself with his answer. But you know, you'll, you'll win anyway. So, All right. So you guys ready? Ready as I Zach, will be. I am ready. Let's do this. <laughs> all right. Today's categories are, and you'll be choosing the category you want to pick from uh, for each one. In alphabetical order, the categories are Ion, All Points Bulletin, EverQuest, Neverwinter, and World of Tanks. Oh. So, being that he has a seniority on uh, MMO Bomb, we'll go with Mike first. So, Mike, I just had pick to get a category. Rid of the free to play cast logo over my face because I forgot oh. to move it. Derp. Oh, jeez. No, that's all right. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna take EQ off the board. Let's let's do EQ first. All right. It, it was the first MMO, right? I mean, yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Or WoW. I'm not sure which. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> WoW, yeah. WoW was first, right? Exactly. All right. Obviously. Now, EverQuest was the first like truly big MMO in terms of player numbers, but how big did it get? The highest verified number I can find comes from a press release from SOE dated September 25th, 2003. According to this press release, SOE said it had more than how many players paying a monthly fee to play EverQuest? What was the number they put in that press release? Ooh, paying players as of that time. Monthly pay players paying a monthly fee to play EverQuest. Is yeah, what this they wasn't said. some. It obviously, wasn't free to play at the time. Six bajillion yeah. accounts bullshit. This yes, was... That was active players. All right, I'm gonna ooh. From September 25th, 2003. I mean, wow, exploded, and it was shocking when it got into the millions. So I don't, I don't think we're anywhere near that high. I think we're in the, at that point, hundreds of thousands would have been quite impressive and a big difference over everything before it. But how high did it get? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with 400,000. Uh, okay. I, th I think, I think I would remember seeing over half a million in headlines. And so I'm going to go with 400,000. Right, Mike's answer is 400,000. Zach, do you think it's higher or lower? And what's your I'm reason? A, I I'm at say a higher. severe uh, disadvantage with numbers this freaking big. <laughs> oh, geez. yeah. I'm gonna, Math I'm is gonna, hard. Oh, God. I'm going to say higher because a lot of people remember playing it back then. And so if there's a lot of people that remember playing it, then they obviously had to subscribe, right? So 400,000 clearly wasn't enough. So it's got to be more than that. It's got to be. Okay. All right. Well, the answer is da -da -da -da, we need a drum. We have to have a drum roll figured in here. I so. got applause for whoever gets okay. it. Okay. All right. All right. Got the applause. All right. I'll, I'll wait on that then. The answer is 450,000. Oh! Yes. Yes. So Zach <laughs> wins the point. He cussed higher. Oh, my low. God. In the right area, but not quite. Damn it! This, one, win. this game is horseshit. <laughs> it's rigged, man. It's, it's totally rigged. rigged. It's totally I was passing rigged. the answer to Zach. 
I am amazed I was that close. I that's am, not bad. That's impressive. Too, yeah. All right. All right. So very good. That's one point for Zach. Zero oh. points for Mike. But you got time to make it up. So I do. Zach, I do. Zach is going to get the choice for the next question. On what category do you want? Do you want Aeon, All Points Bulletin, Neverwinter, or World of Tanks? Ion. Ion. All right. Is Ooh. Ion or Aeon? I've never, I've never been sure. It's, it's, it's Ion. It's Ion. It's <laughs> Ion. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. So for Ion. Now, you remember when a big Korean MMO coming to U.S. shores made people froth at the mouth over how pretty <laughs> it was? How it would totally be the next huge thing that made everyone forget about old worn-out crap like World of Warcraft? <laughs> it seems like it was just last week. Oh, wait, no, people are, yeah, yeah, people are still we, doing we it. We still actually. do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, back in 2009, NCSoft's CFO said he thought Aeon, Ion, whatever, he said he thought it could be the number two MMO in the U.S. behind World of Warcraft. Wow. Uh, and at first, you know, he didn't seem entirely crazy as people lined up to purchase it. Now, not literally, because I think even back then, MMO players were doing digital pre-orders or whatever. But a I lot of people, that hard copy. A lot of people yeah. did pre-order Ion, including Mike, apparently. <laughs> but according to NCSoft, how many pre-orders were there just a week before the game's North American launch? Ooh. I'm going to say one million. Whoa! Going high, you're going all the way up to one million. All right. Whoa! Million I remember it being quite that. big when it first came out, and I mean, I'm speaking for myself, but I have like four copies, so. Okay. Not as much as Mike with his eleven wild stars. <laughs> Shut you know, up! I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. <laughs> so basically, two hundred fifty thousand people, but a million pre-orders because everyone bought four copies or whatever. Sure. Exactly. All right. So Zach says one million. Mike, where are you going with that? Higher or lower? <sighs> all right. So WoW was huge. And a lot of players were looking for something else around that time here in the West. Mm -hmm. So I could see a big number pre-ordering it, playing it, and then the usual drop-off. Maybe more so than even nowadays because we have 70 choices instead of <laughs> three or four like we did back then. So I could see a lot of people going since there's not a lot of selection at that time. I can't see a million pre-ordering it though. I gotta go lower and probably by a fair fair margin lower. Okay. And the answer is four hundred thousand pre-orders. Yeah! Hey, it's my magic hey. number. Your old number. You just got the, you got a little mixed up there. You got you picked them in the wrong order. Right. I won my point back on the same yes. number. Yes. Right. It was quite a bit lower. Four hundred thousand is what the, the CFO said it was. So. I promise there are no more questions about player numbers. Those are the only two I five things. They're not all about that. But anyway, our score is tied up now. One point for Mike, yes. one point for Zach. Back in it. All right. Zero, so. zero. Oh, now yep. I'm getting a text, and I can't even see who it's from. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. They're congratulating you on your point. Right. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's YouTube. I did it, actually. I just typed it up. All right. All right. So what we got next, left? So the next question, Mike, is going to be your choice. Your all choices right. are All Points Bulletin, Neverwinter, and World of Tanks. Man, there is one that I am avoiding here. <laughs> You're going to have to answer it eventually. Yeah. What questions do you want to stiff Zach with having right. to do the number? Or, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take Neverwinter off the board and force Zach into APB and World of Tanks. So, so Neverwinter. <laughs> so that's two you're avoiding is what you're saying. Right. Well, it's it's World of Tanks that I'm avoiding. <laughs> oh, no. So don't give up your strategy, man. Oh. I, I, hey, he's got a 50-50 shot left, and I'm going to have to answer it anyway. So Neverwinter. <laughs> All right, Neverwinter. All right. Now, MMO developers really love their infographics. You can multiply yes, number do. of players by amount of time they all spent at the game. They come up with these... Impressive but hollow pseudo facts like our players spent more time in the game than the age of the universe, or you know, whatever. <laughs> and Perfect World seems to love infographics probably more than just about anybody else out there. Just one month after Neverwinter launched in mid 2013, they were already touting its numbers. So, my question for you is an infographic released July 31st, 2013, about 40 days after the game's North American launch, uh -huh. how many found requests had been created? And just oh, to give, I'll give you a little sense wow. of scale, it's a six digit number. Wow. So just 40 days after the game had launched, somewhere between 100,000 and a million found requests were made. How many? All right. So I can take 100,000 off the board and 1 million off the board because I don't <laughs> want to be screwed Price is Right style. Okay. All right. So two numbers gone. Let's work through the rest of these. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> take your time. A six-digit number, huh? So we're dealing with hundreds of thousands. It was an even six-digit number, too. They didn't, like, do blah, 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 346 or something. Right. Okay. So it's a nice round number. Yes. 
Okay. Um, now I know the, the foundry exploded off the bat, but it wasn't... It wasn't initially, if I remember right, it wasn't initially for the best reasons. <laughs> yeah, most of the quests were just kill these 10 things and get 5 million experience points. Or yeah, I yeah. think it was an experience thing that that had to be fixed, and eventually the foundry's not even there anymore, is it? Um, I think sure. it still is, but is it's it? not as major. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a dead thing. Um, all right, so given that there were a lot of players and wanted to abuse the shit out of that for the experience stuff that was going on at the time at launch, I'm going to go with... <laughs> I'm going to go with 400,000. <laughs> <laughs> it's your magic number. It's my, well, it's only been 50-50 magic for me right hey. now, but it, it was close on that first one. True, so I'm going to go with 400,000. Yet again, I think that's going to put Zach in kind of a tough spot because lower might, in your brain, think, well, that's that seems too low, but higher seems maybe a little too high. I'm hoping it kind of trips Zach up and gets him to go commit one way, and it's the wrong way. 400 grand. All right, 400,000 is the answer. What do you say, Zach, higher or lower? I don't know. Like, my gut says lower, but it right? could be higher. Right? Um, yes, I'm it gonna, works! I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with my gut, though, and say lower. You're going to go with lower. That is okay. my final answer. Your then, final, this is lock just, it in. There's like no logic here either. He's just like, it's a gut shot, guys. Deal oh, with it's, it. <laughs> it's, 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 no, it's, I played Neverwinter at launch, and I yeah. don't remember being there like a, an extraordinary amount of, you know, foundry quests. So like, even being a six-digit number, that seems like a lot to me. Like, I don't remember that many, but I don't know. Okay. So, that's, he's got some sound logic behind his Come choice. On. All right, all right. Come on, 400K. All right, so the answer is... 262,000. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> so Zach wins again. They, they said on the infographic that's more than the number of new books published in China, 207,506. Which, it's like, okay, so what's a new book in China? Yeah, and why do you well, compare it to the book C count in a communist e. nation? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There were also 559 million quests completed and 123 million profession tasks completed. Wow. So, wow. That was much bigger at launch than I remember it then. Yeah, apparently so. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, they love their big numbers. So, all right. Zach is up two points to one. You got it. You got it. Damn got you, 400K. <laughs> Bat 33% on it now. All right. So, Zach gets a choice of the next next category. Is it going to be All Points Bulletin or World of Tanks? Oh, we're going APB. All right. <laughs> Dick. All right. <laughs> now, you'll probably remember the original All Points Bulletin. So, not APB technically. Because it wasn't yeah. called, it only informally called right. that. But the original version of All Points Bulletin did not do so great. Uh, the re revised version, the APB Reloaded, has been pretty successful. But the original one, developed by Real Time's World, Real Time Worlds, was only online for a very short period of time. Criminally short, you might say. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So Zach, my question to you is. For how many days was the original APB operational? From the North American launch until its shutdown date. How many days? I'm going to say... Um, hmm. That's a tough one. I'm going to say 120 days. Okay, 120 days, right around four months. Any any reason behind that, or is that another gut feeling? It, it, seems, it seems like that would be just long enough for it to establish itself a little bit, but not long enough where people, you know, still don't laugh at it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, we're laughing. So, so your answer is, oh, is yeah. what, one, 100, 120, 120, 120 days or four months, so basically. basically four months. One, 120, the days is what matters. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. All right, Mike, what do you think? Higher or lower? I... I just seem to remember this being lower and like around the 60 to 70 mark ish. I think it was a whole like you looked at it news wise at that time and were kind of stunned that anybody subbed at all because they <laughs> really didn't have the time to sub all that much. And then there was that whole thing going back and forth where people were able to farm up the currency. And yeah, I think I think this is lower. And, and I mean, if you want me to get a little closer, just my mind around oh, it, I have a feeling of this being like around 70, 75 ish days, like a you month don't, and you a don't half get or bonus. So. We already established you don't get bonus points. For I know, points. I know, but that's where why I'm saying lower because my brain <laughs> seems to put this at okay. about 75, so lower than 120. And the answer was 80. Oh, 80 wow. yes. so you were pretty close, but it was lower, so you do get the point. 
That was Ooh, 10 so off from my original thought. I was thinking 90 days originally, but uh, I still would have been too high. So down with your gut. Go yeah, with your gut. I, just, oh, I seem still to remember. Said lower. I, probably would, probably. Yeah, I just seem to remember yeah. looking at the headlines and going, who had time to sub? I mean, there's almost no time in <laughs> yeah. there. Well, if you remember, it wasn't even subscription like a month. Right. It by per hours that you played. Yep. So it was even weirder than that. But anyway. All right, that ties us up at two. Forced it to f- question five. What a great episode, man! Five. One yeah. more, one more to go, and we totally didn't stage this. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeding you guys the answers. All right, so there you go, Mike. You're gonna have to get the World of Tanks one now. Ugh. Lucky you, lucky you. And this will this will this will be perfect. This will be perfect. You guys will have no problem with this one because we're gonna mix in a little real world knowledge with your video game knowledge. Ooh, all oh, all right. I have a shot then, maybe. According to the World of Tanks, Tankopedia. What is the top speed in kilometers per hour of a standard unmodified tier seven German Panther medium tank? Oh shit! Oh <laughs> god! Not only do I not know much about the game, I don't know jack about tanks. I don't know jack about the metric system. So. <laughs> <laughs> Take the miles. We're per Americans hour. here. What's right, and we got the whole miles per hour thing, and we need this needs to be in kilometers. All right, obviously so. it should have it should have had some British panelists on or something. Right. Oh geez. All right, so, so you- kilometers is about roughly one point six per mile, mm-hmm. and I only know that because on my car's odometer. <laughs> when I'm going 100 miles per hour, I'm doing about 160 kilometers. You drive 100 hour. miles per hour in your car? No, on the odometer, I can see. Okay, okay, on the know, odometer. 100 yeah, sure. seems to be very, very close, almost even with 160. So I use that in my head anywhere I go is 1 to about 1.6. Okay. All right, tanks aren't going to be going, I would assume. Probably not 100 miles per hour. Yeah, they're not going to be going 100 <laughs> miles per hour. I don't even think they're going to be going like 50 or 60 in most cases. Uh, and, and what era tank is this? Uh, it's a German Panther. So that's like World War II the era. World War II era. So I, I would think that like 20 to 30 miles per hour would probably be, it's about top speed. So if I go 20, then I need to put it at about 32-ish kilometers per hour. I'm going to put it at around 30 kilometers per hour, a nice round number. I think yeah, Don't that put it around. Give me the exact number you want as your 30, answer. 30. A nice okay. round number is what I meant. A round number, not right. a round. Uh, gotcha. 30 kilometers per hour, and I think that's going to give me the best shot at... at confusing tri- Zach. At confusing Zach, because it's <laughs> yeah. probably pretty close to that. All right. 30 is what 30. he says. What do you say, higher or lower? Are we talking about uphill or downhill? <laughs> <laughs> Hot surface. <laughs> I suppose uh, whatever's listed oh on the web. Oh, my way. God. That seems so slow to me. Um, but tanks were really slow back then. And it's called a German Panther, so you'd think it would be a bit faster, but maybe more stealthy. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Perfect. It's not like a stealth panther. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, but that's it's Metal what Gear I Rex. Think of, okay. Um, hmm. Because that would be under. That would be really slow. Um, where you can almost bike and pass it really easily. You're biking at 20 miles per hour for long periods of time? That's, that's fast well, biking. Well, for long periods of time, obviously not. I don't know. Like, I would think that it. Oh my God! You put me in a tough spot here. Then Mike. you got fuel consumption and yeah, and the, the World War II as well. And... Oh my God! I would say Battlefield One will help me, but that's World War One. I. I got my fingers crossed here. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say higher because World War One they didn't seem that slow. They seemed slow, but not that slow. I don't know. I think that it would probably be a little bit higher, not by much though. All right, Zach says higher. Mike says 30. Zach says higher. Uh, and the answer is uh, 55. Yes. Wow. 55. Yes. That wow. is what it says. Wow. Yep. Absolutely. Damn much it. much faster than you thought. That'd be what, yeah, that's, like 38 or so miles yeah, per hour. Yeah. yeah. That's almost, I was thinking I mean, 38 like 38 miles per hour is still not fast. I mean, you drive like that on surface. Yeah, cars. but it's a tank. I mean, that's fast yeah, for, in my sure. mind, how fast a tank is going. I was the problem is you probably 30, don't see but, you don't yeah. see tanks going full speed all the time. You tend to think of them right. in battle. But if you just like took it on a racetrack, there you go. You get 50, 60 k. Damn it! Well, yeah. congrats, Zach. Yep, Zach is our winner. Congratulations for winning the very first episode of High Low here on MMO Bomb. Your reward is a year's supply of rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we did uh, it. 
We did it. But, we'll eat for a year. Yep, there you go. But your real reward is you get to tell all the fans where they can find you on the internet. What a reward is that? <laughs> I know. It's not as good as rice and pony, but come on. Deal with it. Uh, Twitter at Zach Sharps. There we go. <laughs> okay, and Mike, where can we find you? Uh, obviously at MMO Bomb, but also at Magic Man One. Down below, here's the spelling. All right, very good. And you can find me tweeting at Winter Informal and streaming occasionally at twitch.tv slash Jason Winter. As always, as Mike said, head on over to MMOBomb.com for all the latest and greatest news, videos, editorials, and much more for free to play gaming. Thank you again for our contestants for being the guinea pigs on this brand new show. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. My name is Jason Winter, and we will see you next time. Later.